All right, hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we're here with another video. In today's video, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna end up releasing it, depends how it goes, but I found something in the GE, and then this has happened for the last two weeks since the item came out, and that has to do with amethyst bolts and bolt tips. So I'm gonna go ahead and show GE Tracker real quick. They're a sponsor, check them out in the description. But anyway, <laughs> quick little plug. Anyways, I'm gonna hop on over there and show you guys what I'm seeing right now. All right, so here we are with the amethyst stuff. So as you guys can see with the ores right here, they are 4.3,000 currently not too shabby they went down a little bit since their original price like i guess release kind of thing but they haven't gone down a ton amethyst arrows are also 30,000 bought and sold an hour which i guess isn't too bad on top of that you do have some arrow tips this is potentially another money maker as you guys can see it's almost free fletching xp at the moment which is actually insane um i might throw that into the video as well that is literally like you make money actually off of putting them into arrows which is ridiculous but the part that i was going to go ahead and focus on but may not anymore is that bolt tips while there are only three thousand sold an hour it's very uh fluctuating like there's a lot of fluctuation within that though as we go ahead and look over here on the day graph you can get like ten thousand thirteen thousand for the most part it's pretty low because not a lot of people are buying and selling these but as you guys can see with the bolt tips they are kind of a really good merch that allows you to get a lot of fletching xp so the bolt tips themselves actually <laughs> you do have to attach the bolt tips to broad bolts but as you guys can see 315 to 435 is ridiculous that's 70 gp profit per one so i'm going to go ahead hop back over to the main game and show you guys what i'm going to go ahead and do to try to find the prices all right so back on over here we have five mil in the inventory we probably won't need all of that uh it's probably a little bit too much but um, we'll go ahead and see what these buy for. So as you guys can see, Insta buy for 313. That's ridiculous. Now they sell for 312, which is a little weird. So I'm just going to put an offer for 325. We'll see how many we can buy. I just want to try to buy out the market if I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I try to buy another 7,000. Okay. I think that's my, is that, is that the GE limit? Yeah, there's no real buy limit. It doesn't say for anything as far... Uh, there's really no buy limit as far as the bolt tips are concerned. I'm sure there is. They just haven't stated it on the wiki. But as we... Okay, so yeah. Why didn't that buy a second ago then? I'm really confused. Oh, because they hopped up to 314. Okay, that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and try to buy some more. All right. I think that means we hit our limit. I bought 11,000. So that literally took me no time at all. And as you guys can see here, I bought them for pretty much 313 coins per one. Now I'm going to go ahead and buy the broad bolts. Now this could be the problem if you actually want to go ahead and do these yourself. I think you just add them onto broad bolts. Am I, am I correct on that? Let's go ahead and see real quick. So 60 and then I add those and yeah, it just adds. Okay. And it's 11 GP or it's 11 XP per one. So I'm going to get like 121 K fletching XP. So we go ahead and look at broad bolts real quick. Now the problem that you may reach here is that there is a limit on them. I think it's a pretty low limit compared to what you could be doing of these, but if we go ahead and try to buy some, yeah, 7,000. So the thing that you might want to do here is you can buy some unfinished ones and actually make them yourself, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, if you also hit your limit on those though, what I'd recommend you do is go ahead and and go to a Slayer Master and you can buy packs of them. So I'd say go ahead and do that. I gotta buy, I think 5,000 more and then go ahead and string these or fletch these, I guess. And then we'll uh, actually get to the money making part. And there we go. So I was a little off the mark. I accidentally had a thousand more bolts than I thought I should. But if we go ahead and look up the amethyst bolts, um, I guess the bolt tips, as you guys can see here, if we go ahead and put in 11,000, which is how many I have, I can't type correctly, but 11,000 comes in at 4 mil and 70K. And then if we go ahead and look at broad bolts, um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that is as well. That is another 650K. So in total, that means I spent 4 mil 720K, I do believe and I should be able to get a lot more out of this. So let's go ahead and see what I'm able to do. Um, on top of that, if any of you guys ever want like a good like fletching method, just know that unfinished bolts are 56, feathers are three, so that's literally free fletching XP. You can get like upwards 200K XP an hour. It's really click intensive and not all that great, but it's free fletching XP and it's pretty quick, I guess. It's just really click intensive, but that's another little hint. I'm gonna go ahead and put these together and see how long it takes me and how much I make. And there we go, done with that. So that took me a little bit of time. I'd say about 23 minutes or so, which isn't too bad at all, especially when you consider that you're getting like 10.6 XP per um, arrow, I, I guess. Um, it's a little weird because these don't fletch like these, which I don't understand. Um, they don't have the animation like this to where you can do it really quick. Instead, they have an animation where it 
has make 10, which is kind of annoying, but I was able to do them all. So let's go ahead and see how much XP I was able to get. So in total, I was able to get 116K XP in 23 minutes, which comes out to around 304K XP an hour if you're able to do this. Now, obviously with GE limits, you're not gonna be able to do this hourly. That's why I'm not gonna advertise it as such. But as you guys can see, we made a decent amount <laughs> As you guys can see, we got a decent amount of XP. We were also able to make a decent amount of money. Now, if you go ahead and look, broad bolts, as I said earlier, 60 GP, and the bolt tips were 313. Now, if we go ahead and check out what I'm able to sell them on for, we'll be able to see how much money I'll actually be able to make. So I'd say first, I'm gonna go ahead and slow sell these, considering there won't be a whole ton of demand on the market. There obviously will be some demand, but I don't wanna dump 11,000, as it is kind of a big chunk of the market. So as you guys can see, 414 is what they're gonna sell on for. I will undercut by one GP, but but from there, you can see, as well as I can see, 4.5 mil. Now, if we go ahead and subtract that from the total cost that it took us to get it, I was able to make around 450K in 23 minutes, which is absolutely insane. The, the GP per hour obviously isn't the greatest. Like, there are other things you can do in game, but when you factor that you're also getting 300K fletching XP in an hour, that is not too bad at all. So, I'm gonna go ahead and slow sell these, but for now, I will go ahead and just see real quick what the Amethyst Arrows are actually go for, because that could be a decent one for people um these brought or these bolts may not be all that great after this video while you would want to check back in the future they may not be the best now so i'm going to go ahead and see what we have here with arrow tips so as i showed you guys a second ago the arrows actually buy oh they buy for 280 and they sell for two uh, 90 insta buy and insta sell which means you're going to be able to make a decent amount of money off this obviously you can buy them for a little lower but for example I'll go ahead and show you guys what I would do so here you go ahead and buy yourself like what 200 maybe the buy limits probably 11k as those were before and then you go ahead and look up some headless arrows now from there obviously buy the matching amount and as you can see I actually will be able to buy these for less than 2,000 which means I'm making a 3 GP profit per one it's not all that much but I mean to consider that this is actually going to make you money is pretty impressive and i don't have 82 fletching so let me go ahead and see how much xp you get for this and so i went ahead and looked it up because i don't have the level myself but each arrow supplies you about 13.4 xp which means you'd be able to easily get over 350k xp per hour so i think that that's a really good method for now i don't know how this is going to affect the prices realistically amethyst isn't all that hard to gather from what i saw on day of release mining it i mean you get some xp i think it's like 25k but you could also get around 650k an hour Hour. Um, since the price drop, it's probably dropped to more around 400k. But with that considered, it is a profitable and AFK mining technique for higher levels, so some people may be willing to do it. Now, with that said, that really will determine whether or not these go up in price or not. Um, currently, I think that they are a pretty stable price, however, this video may change it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you guys test this out yourself and you know get a little bit of free fletching XP. But that'll be it for me today. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If there's anything you guys want to go ahead and tell me, comment that down below and if you enjoy my content make sure to subscribe but with that said i hope you guys